Okay, so while he's flying us back, um, let's go ahead and get going on some more building over here. That's the Nemesis. Okay. Uh, where is my Cerberus at? Oh, he's right there. Okay. Alright, so what we're going to do is go into plan build. And let's go ahead and start. Let me let me think here. Okay, so this this section's for storage. This section's for resource production that's just the dock area for now but also I'm gonna put the habitation stuff there when the time comes and whole part production graphene production entering system so I think this the was gonna be kind of like high tech or um, end product and this is kind of inter intermediate intermediate products basically okay so with that being said um, we want to add a let's start with a microchip We go to here. So we can go down from there. Doesn't look like we can go uh, attached to anything up though. So there doesn't look like there's any more going up in this section. Okay, so let's grab you, turn you this way, and pop you there. Entering system, second contact. Now we'll hold shift so that's at 15 degrees. Backup. It doesn't look like it's straight on there, though. But if we set it to zero degrees, it should be... Well, I, I don't even know if that's actually straight. I think it is. Entering system. True sight. This can be... Um, Kind of a pain in the neck sometimes. It looks like it's on there straight with the connector now. Because I think it, if it says zero degrees, then that means it is uh, with whatever it's connecting to. Entering system, Holy Vision. Okay, so, so we can go down. Now, if we grab a... Microchip. Entering system. Pontifex's claim. Entering system. Ias mists. 
So the connectors on that end. Let's bring this up. Drag it over this way. Grab the blue thingy. I think the problem here is that it's the connectors on the underneath side. So what we need to do is rotate it on the green axis here. Like so. There we go. Okay, now. Whoops. Now we can pop it on there. Okay. Um, reset to top view. Okay. Let's get about here. Entering system. Grand exchange. And we want to rotate it to zero to. I mean, that says six, but that... Okay, there we go. We had to release it to for it to re-align itself. Okay. All right, so that should work for, for that factory. Um, and we already have silicon wafers to support it. So we're already good to go there. Next, let's do the antimatter, I suppose. So the connectors are on the side or the bottom of this. Could connect that to there. Is that right though? Because it's showing a gap there. Yeah, it's snapping. Now later on, if I wanted to, I should be able to attach either this or this to the bottom of that for more expansion later. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I think um, let's go with this for the antimatter cell factory. And that's going to require hydrogen. So we're going to have to make sure we get a a gas miner on hydrogen. I think I have one gas miner so far that's doing, well, it's doing whatever the manager wants it to do, but I think it's methane that it's mostly going after at the moment for the graphene. Okay. Uh, but we might have to assign another gas miner to support, you know, uh, in fact, I'm sure that we will. Okay, so that gets us our antimatter cell factory. Uh, let's do super fluid coolant next. Um, so this, where are the connectors on you? Side and it looks like bottom. Okay, if we turn you this way, There's not really anything else here that it can connect to, unless we add some more extensions, which we can do. Um, it does stick up in the air a bit there too, doesn't it? All right, why don't we 
grab one of these guys. Pop that there. And we're going to need another one, so we'll just go right click and copy module. And pop that there. Is that going to be far enough out to then attach this? Oh, we need to rotate this um, like this. It's still not showing that it'll connect to that because I think it's probably too it needs another one of these so copy okay now let's see if it'll connect hmm do I still have that turned the wrong way It still probably doesn't have enough clearance, I'm thinking. Because it connects to there. Alright, so let's add another one of these then. Now let's see if it has enough. I'm trying to get a hold of this. Hmm. Alright, let's add another one. that not attached to there there should be enough clearance out on this side it does not like doesn't like it not even if we go this way Okay, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. I think it. Oh, you know what the problem might be? Actually, there's not a there's not enough clearance for this little bottom piece. I think that's what the issue is. Okay, so why don't we instead then remove that and this? Or no, 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 not copy undo and let's remove this and let's grab one of these pop that on there and now there there we go okay it's all just a matter of proper clearance for everything okay so let's turn this this way a little bit and then uh, what make sure it says zero takes a just a little feather touch to get this there we go okay so that should be good that should be good for super fluid. Okay, what else? We've got microchip, a quantum tube. That's the other thing that I want to do right now. And then we'll do, um, we'll worry about the food stuff later. Because I want to get the food rations going first before we put in the, the habitats. Uh, but we still have to do quantum tubes. Um, okay, so f quantum tubes require the superfluid co a coolant, which we just did. Uh, so, and we already have the graphene in the energy cell, so we're good on the prereqs for that. So let's grab this and see what it looks like. Ready 
get it over here. There we go. Okay. So it looks like this is only going to connect on the bottom. What we might be able to do, if we have the clearance, is... Let's... Uh, nope. Let's flip it upside down. There we go. That works. And then I think what I'll do is I'll put it that way, I guess. And zero. Okay, cool. So that gets our quantum tube production set up. All right, so far now, what... um. What are we looking at? Oh, we first have to confirm module changes. All right, so we're, we're looking at 4.4 million. So let's do a go ahead and get a builder going right now. And here's one right, oh, I just lost him, damn it. Sometimes finding a builder can be a pain in the butt. He was just there and then he disappeared. Uh, let's get a builder assigned um, so that they can start working their way over here. I just got to find one. I don't know why that builder just disappeared. He was maybe he was just on his way out of the sector, perhaps. There we go. Here's a Heracles. I'm just going to take the first one we can find to select. Okay, so we got a builder. Um, I'm going to... Okay, let's go... Well, let's, let's accept the estimate and give them the money they need. And then we're going to select... Let's select these guys here. Well, I'm going to wait for them to make their deliveries first. And then we're going to switch them over to build. Uh, supply for build. And we could pull our traders off, but I don't think I want to do that. So I'll just wait for these guys to make their deliveries and then I'll assign them to help the build. Plus we'll, you know, plus we'll have the AI helping us with that stuff too. Um, they'll they'll start bringing in things for us. Okay, so let's go back into um, here. Actually, I'm gonna do a quick save. Let's go back into plan build, and then over on this side of things, we're gonna start setting up our food, our food stuff. I wonder if we should put in another solar array because once we start adding all this other stuff. If we look at the logical station overview, well, I mean, there's still a lot of headroom here for the energy cells. Right. So, okay, I'm gonna keep. All oh, right, we gotta get we gotta get some gas ships. Uh, I'll worry about that towards the end. I want to get the building plan done first. Okay, I'm gonna keep this section here open for. Uh, another energy cell array, but we don't necessarily need to add it right to drop my cargo. at the moment. So let's see, we need to put in a wheat and a spice in a food ration factory. So let's do wheat and spice first. So we'll grab this wheat and wait, what? Why is that over there? That's weird. So it looks like the connectors are on that side. Let's bring this over here. A little higher too. Okay. And so, well, that'll connect right on the very end of the solar power plant. 
I'm okay with that, I think. Yeah, look at that. That works for me. Okay, so that takes care of our wheat. I'm going to assume it's nice and in line straight there. Okay, now, um, where is, uh, are the spices? The spices are here. So let's grab the module and bring it up and over. And it looks like there's a spot right on the cattle farm that it'll connect to. Hmm. I guess that's out of the way. Well, it's just barely out of the way of the solar thingy. What if we... pivoted it so that it's like this? Um, because even though the game's letting me do it, it just felt like it was too close to those solar panels, especially if those solar panels need to be tilted, though they shouldn't in space, because the sun never moves in space. Sunshine. Um, I'm not sure what angle this should be to that angle there, but it... We just eyeballed it. It looks like it's more or less at a right angle to this axis here, I think. Oh. Okay, yeah. It gave us the zero degrees, so I think that's good. Um... Yeah, I'll, I guess that'll work. I guess that'll work for the spices. Okay, so for food rations. Let's grab these, put it over here, and then drag it over here. Up a bit. And then over this way and over this way. The other thing that I don't currently know is how many factories it's going to take to support, you know, the next chain and all that. So we'll, I'm just kind of building one per now until I figure out later on uh, what, you know, what those ratios are. Okay, move that out, move this over so we have a better view here. We can't put anything here because that's where I want to put the other solar power thingy. I mean, you know, we could probably just put that in now. Solar power does not require any inputs, so there's not really any harm in having a surplus of it, except for that it would be taking up container storage space, so I guess that is something to think about. All right, so the connector's on you. Here, let's bring this up a little higher. There we go. They're on that side. Is it possible? Is there anything over on this very inappropriate looking water production thingy that we could attach this to. Doesn't look like it. There's no more attachment parts on this. Well, then what I think we'll do is we'll grab um, one of these thingies.
and then bring it over here. And turn it this way ish. And then grab it. Grab it without whoop. It's hard to grab these without grabbing the uh, connector thingies. Come on, man. Go there. Okay. Let's do another one of these. No. Right there. Get them out a little bit. And for future expansion, I think I'm going to put a cross here, too. Needed to come up a bit. There. That's what I want you to do. Okay. And then we should be able to take our... our food production... And connect that the thing I don't like about that is it it's it's like gonna be blocking the solar panels not the game probably doesn't care about that but it just doesn't seem right so let's turn it that way Okay, and I think it's, looks like it's pretty straight coming out there, so I think we're good to go there. Okay, so let's confirm these module changes and accept the new estimate, so now we're up to 7 million. And I think we have everything now to where we could start we could also build the Claytronics production um, so let's bring that over here and we're gonna I'm going to extend this out further, like so, except for I think I just accidentally tilted it, not meaning to. Uh, that's the green. We want that right at zero. So hard to get it right on the money. There we go. Okay. Well, that looks straight there. Okay, let's put another cross piece. Is that straight? Okay, and then the Claytronics. Where are the connectors on you? On the bottom. Okay, so that means if we're going to keep this... What if we flip this around? No, 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 no. That's not what I want to do. Grab this. 
uh, 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 yeah, flip it around like that. And then... Move it over and move it down a little bit. There. Oh, okay, so it's attaching like that. If you're gonna do that, well, no, actually, I think that might be okay. That might actually be just fine. I think it is. Okay. Um, I do want to make sure, though, that it is straight, and I think it is. If you just kind of look at this edge here, I think it is. Okay, so that takes care of the Claytronics. The uh, next thing, then, uh, and final thing for now is going to be to put some habitation modules in. I don't really have that sticking way out, don't I? Uh, I might change that. I don't think it needs to stick out quite that far. Uh, but, you know, we'll come back to that. Let's go to Habitation Module. And we will put... How many does this support? Encyclopedia. 500 people. Alright, so... Somewhere it tells us what our optimal workforce is on the factory. Uh, is that going to be in Logical Station Overview? Workforce. 1,445. Okay. With, I don't know if that's for what's currently built or for the whole thing. Though, um, so we know we're going to need about three of them, though. So let's start with that. And if I have to add more later, then we'll add more later. All right, so let's pop another one on top of there. I'm assuming those are straight. It looks like they are. And then we'll put another one down. What? What I did here? Undo. I don't know what I just where I just put that one. Redo. Okay. Let's just copy this. Uh, yeah, right there. Just trying to make sure that they're straight and lined up and looks like they are. And then we have, you know, plenty of room for expansion later on as necessary. Okay. Let's confirm module changes. Let's update the estimate. So we're now up to 17.5 million to make all this stuff. And now it's just a matter of waiting for the stuff to come in and have it built. Um, like I said, though, oh, you know, we're probably going to need some more storage now, too, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, I'll bet you we are. Um, yeah, all right, let's go to storage modules. Other modules, storage modules. All right, we're going to add another large container module right to the end of there. And probably another one. Oh, you know what? We're past our, uh, I think we're right beyond the edge of our plot here. Okay, undo that. No, not that. Um, 
Grab the large container. Put that one there. Yeah, we're right at the edge of the plot. Okay, so I know I can increase the plot for more cost, but instead of doing that for now, what I'm going to do instead is we're going to put another vertical there. Except for I want to turn it so that it's matched up with the other ones. Should be right at 90 degrees there. We're taking hits! Who's taking hits? Hold on, what the hell's going on? Um, confirm module changes. Trader 2 is taking hits. Just get away from that dude. He should be able to get away from him. Yeah, he'll be okay. I hope. <laughs> he doesn't have any hull damage either, so... Well, as long as he gets into that gate and doesn't do something stupid. Doesn't even look like he's heading towards the gate. Oh, now he's going back the other way. to dock over there. And just wait for a moment. Because it looks like this graphene station's weapons are probably... Oh no, he's going after somebody else. Yeah, just go dock there for a second. I'll come back and get you in a minute. Okay, he just destroyed that magpie. Oh, where did he go? Oh, he got out of range of my ship. That's what happened. Get off my radar. Okay, I'll come back and deal with this later. I want to finish our build out here. Plan build. Alright, so we were working on storage over here. I wonder if I can, instead of doing this, can we just put another cross piece on there and have enough clearance to stack them? Don't know. Let's find out. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think there's going to be enough clearance, so we're gonna. I think we're gonna have to put a vertical on there first. Okay. And then turn this way. There. Minus 90 is good. And then you, we should be able to just pop right on top of the, uh, uh, wait. What? Why won't you go on top of there? Oh, Try harder I think I need time. to turn it this way. More? Coming right up. Okay. 
There. I don't know why I was having trouble with that. Oh, I might have been trying to set it down too low, perhaps? I think that's straight. Okay, now what we should be able to do is go... Why your gunfire? What is going on? I don't see any enemies around here. Well, maybe there was one. That sounds like a laser tower. <laughs> Let's see. Try harder next time. How are we getting attacked? I don't see any enemies around here. That's a pirate ship, but it's not showing red. Something shooting at Oh, it's the laser tower, I'll bet you, of the of the builder that's shooting it. Yeah, here's the laser tower right there. Okay, that explains it. Well, he's just about dead. Alright, I don't think we need to worry about that. He's taking care of it. Let's go back to plan build. Okay. So back over to here. Now, I want to add container storage. Another large container storage there, and copy that module and add one there. Okay. Try talking less. You might fly better. Um. Now, we're going to probably need some more liquid storage because we have to bring in more gas now. Yeah, this is, this methane is, is completely full. And we're also going to need some more solid storage, too. Okay, so let's go back to here. I won't let you get away with that. This is my liquid storage section. I don't know if I can get a big one. Let's go this way. Connected. Oh, I can. Whoops. That's not what I want. Yeah, like that. Okay, that works. Beautiful. And let's do two of these. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing on this side with solid storage. Uh, no, we want a big one. And we'll turn it this way. And connect it there. Looks like it's straight. And we'll copy this and add a second one. Like so. Now the plan with the storage is, you know, we can we can go up or down. You know, we basically go vertical to continue to add more of these as as the station grows. So that's the that's kind of the plan there. And I might even at some point remove all the small ones and just put all large ones in, but I'm not going to do that right now because we don't really need to do that right now. Okay, let's confirm module changes. Let's accept the estimate, which is now up to 18.4 million. And we are Get off my radar. good to go. So let's do a reset to top view. It seems like this is off axis a little bit, but I think it's, it's fine. We're just going to leave it the way it is. Requesting permission to talk. Docking permission granted. What a smart ass. Hull part production. Um, oh. 
You know what? I actually, I think I, I wanted the Claytronics over here. Because because that's an end product where this is supposed to be I won't let you get away with that. intermediate products. Right. Okay. So let's grab the Claytronics and Try to move it over here. I'll probably just keep that stuff there so it's there for the future for expansion. All right, is there a, yeah, reset rotation. Okay, so that's its normal rotation. No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to do. Here. Reset rotation. I think we're going to have to... Like we did before. Either flip it upside down. Well, yeah, we are going to have to flip it upside down. Like this. Turn it this way. And attach it there. talking less you might fly better. That's funny. Alright, that's set zero degrees, but it's it is definitely not straight. At least not lined up with this. It what visually it looks like it needs to go right about there. Okay, that's better. All right, I think that's what we want to do. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, confirm module changes. Uh, we shouldn't. We shouldn't have to add any more money. Um, well, looks like there's a couple hundred more credits that it added to that. Probably. I don't know why. Okay. I think that's it, guys. I think we are ready for this to start building itself out. What I'm going to need to do, of course, is um, get some uh, get some more, uh, gas miners going. And we're probably... I don't think we need any more normal solid miners. I think we have that covered. Uh, but... I'm sure we're going to need at least one, maybe even two to three more gas miners uh, because we just increased our gas needs, helium in particular. So I'll work on that. And then I'm just going to, you know, kind of monitor things and, uh, and let this get built out. And then in the next episode, I, prob I probably... I was asked to drop my cargo. I probably won't start the next episode until this is completely built and up and running. Um... So we'll, but maybe, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Um, I want to get going with some missions, uh, both main storyline stuff and also possibly start the Boron storyline, uh, which was suggested. And then, uh, so yeah, that's the tentative plan for the next episode is for us to do some missions. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Thank you.